What's up, everybody? Zero Zero Twelve here, bringing you back another episode of Nordic Shippuden and Ultimate Storm Four: Beginner to Master Tutorials. If you guys don't know what Beginner Master Tutorial is, it's just basically I choose one character out of the whole roster to guess everything I know about that single character. Now, today's character is actually going to be Darwin. Now, this character was sort of, kind of highly requested. Um, he got good amounts of requests, but I personally want to do this character most often just because Darwin is just a very good character in this game. Um. Not the lines of too much damage like Hashirama or really fast, but he's good in the case of um, a lot of priority with his jutsus and what he can do, and also of um, how balanced he actually is. I mean by that, like he he kind of has no weaknesses whatsoever. He, he's really good all overall. He's fast. He's powerful. He has good defenses. He can really help you out as a support. There's really no weaknesses that he doesn't he that he has. So. Um, I think, uh, the, I only said the I only made a tutorial about one of the characters that was just like this. I think it was Minato. Minato was just like this. He was like, no witnesses whatsoever. So I'm at a good time telling you guys about what Darwin can actually do with his stuff. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe for more beginning my tutorials. And make sure to tell me who else you want me to use for the next episode. But, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. So, like I said before, Darwi is one of those characters where he's all balanced. There's nothing really bad about him. That's really good. So, I think that just, because of that fact, that kind of placed Darwi kind of top of, like, the tier list. Like, he is mid to high tier. Pretty much high tier. Like, top 15 of all characters. He is a really good character. Um, he has a good long range jutsu. He has powerful combos that are really fast. He has uh, uh, good defenses for your team. He can switch out really good. Like, there's a bunch of stuff I can name. But let's just get right into it. But right now, there's nothing really special about Darby that I can name off the bat. Like, uh, he doesn't have any, like, special techniques or priority hits that's really outstanding. But the only thing I can actually say about him is that he has good canceling. Like, really good canceling. I can cancel my combos very easy. And, um... Um, it's, it's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's very fluent, so that's just one thing I want to mention about Dari, he, that is just really powerful with him, like, he's, he's, he's very fluent. Yeah, I can cancel it at any time, but let's get on to the combo, so, first I'm going to the neutral combo. Very fast, very fast, okay, first, wait, 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 let me, um, turn all this stuff on, there you go, now let's do restart the combo one more time. And can you get out of the corner? the other corner. Nope, I just pushed back into the corner. Okay. What about here? This should be good. There you go. Nutri combo. Alright, so that was a really fast combo for a Nutri combo. Alright, let's go to the down combo. Water style. And let's go to the up combo along with the air combo. All right, so let's 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 do so. So Darwin overall has a lot of damage with his combos, and it also makes up for the fact that they are also really fast. They're really quick. So um, let's go with this. Uh, let's go with the down combo first. So the down combo is actually the fastest combo out of all of the combos, and it is also the strongest. So I highly recommend you use this a lot. Use this a lot. It is very fast and it is very um, powerful as well. And plus, um, the only reason why it's fast is because of the last hit, he slices the opponent's legs, and it's just really quick. It's really quick. And that's what makes this attack so freaking powerful. Alright, let's go on to the neutral combo. So neutral combo is a tad bit longer, but still, still very quick though. Very quick. Flip a little bit tad bit longer, but I highly recommend that you don't use the neutral combo unless you are aiming to get strike back off. Otherwise, um don't really use it <laughs> because you can just use the down combo pretty much yeah there's really nothing special about this uh it's not think there's nothing special about this combo that I can find out but really if you want to um if you want to get some good damage off and fast damage use the down combo but if you're aiming for a strike back use the neutral combo pretty much that simple and the up combo now I will get the up combo eventually because that is um very useful Indeed, this up combo is very useful in many cases, but once I get to his juice and powers, it's gonna make a lot more sense. All right, next we're gonna go into his air combo. His air combo is really good, it connects up in the air, 
It can um, counter attack people. It is really good. It has a lot of range to it as well. Not like that. It's a lot of range to it as well, and it's freaking fast. And you can cancel out of it really quickly at any given time. Much easier than most characters. So this is um, a really good air combo. One suggestion you prioritize just the air combo most of the time, but just you know, do one let you know that Darby got some pretty good stuff in the air. Pretty good. Right, let's go on to his uh, grab and tilt. So let's go with the grab first. So the grab is actually one of those uh, soft fade grabs that is um, goes out a little bit from the lightning, just like that. It has a little bit of range to it. Kind of uh, what's it called? It's like, it's called uh, Sauce uses it. He's the Stater, uh Chidori Stream. I think it's called Lightning on the Ground. I think that's what it's called. I could be getting it wrong, but yeah. He uses like a little Chidori Stream right here. It extends his range for this grab. Boom, just like that. And also to the strike back, I actually forgot about that. But um, this grab, this um, this grab is not really that. I mean, it's special. It does have a little bit of range to it, so you will trick up your opponent if you know what you know what you're doing. The grab comes to have you guys is right there, right there. So you can use this while they're blocking or while they're not blocking. So if you're, this is this is actually a really good grab because you're aiming for a strike back. So like if they're guarding too much. Just use not that, not that. Okay, restart. Boom, 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 boom. Grab. He got strike back off. Delicious. He goes to the air combo. Bam, just like that. Pretty much all you gotta do, but that's really nothing too special about this grab. Like that's not too special. It's something that has a little bit of range to it. That's all that I could find out. But the best thing is you can link it up to an air combo. So you can do some crazy jumps. Let me try to do something crazy off the bat. I did not want to break his guard, but okay. So you do something like this. So you do something like that. But that's purely like situational though. You do something like that. Black hunting. Okay, I got, I am not gonna lie, that is a very, very cool condition. Let's go on to his tilt. So his tilt is most definitely one of the best tilts in this game. It is so freaking good. Oh my god. Okay, so his tilt, um, he pretty much just surfs on the ground with water. It goes really far, and at the end of the surf, you can actually go into a combo. So, if you're like this, it actually does damage up to the surf into the combo. So, you can immediately go into a combo to increase your damage. So, let's say for, so let's just look at the damage with the tilt combined with the down combo, your most powerful combo. Does a little bit more damage, just about like 49% of a single green bar, which is pretty good. That's, that's pretty good damage. So, the best thing about this tilt is that it goes so freaking far it's so far look at that range like that was like halfway across the map well not like yeah like halfway yep yep that's that's half that's halfway can, okay can it go all the way back here i doubt it yeah no it can't but it can go from this one this point yep yep but that's one good factor that it just it goes so far the other good factor is that it actually um, grinds on the guards. That means you can use this endlessly. Boom, 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 boom. Just imagine you can use you can use the um use your tilt, go into your thing, and then use your grab cancel. They will never expect that. So much crap you can do with Dari. God dang. And also does so much damage from the guards. Let me um reset the guard a second. There we go. Look how much damage does the guard. All the way to red. That's insane. That's actually insane. Like two shurikens. Oh wait. How many shurikens? How many shurikens? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, this this tilt is really good. I suggest you use it from a distance because that's the only way you can use it pretty much around this distance right here. That's the only way you can actually use it because if you try to use it how I normally tell you these tilts, where you just hold um block and wait for the chakra dash most of the time it won't really work because he kind of slides around the opponent so just use it for like a medium distance like right here and there's really no bad thing about it unless your opponent 
can like trap you, like bait you to using this, this really has no uh, weakness to it. Otherwise, it's just a really good kill, so use it at your heart's content. Alright, so let's go into his jutsu. No jutsu cancel. Let's go. Alright, so his jutsu is also one of the best jutsus in the game, I might say. It's always been my favorite. It is Gale style laser circuit. So the reason why this jutsu is so good is because it's actually a long range jutsu that has incredible tracking. The only thing that's bad about this jutsu is that it has a long cast time and long um, cooldown. Not cooldown, pretty much, but like long cast time. Let's take a bit of time to actually shoot out, and once they, once you do shoot it out, um, um, you kind of left there for a little bit. So if they sub it and they somehow get past all of them, you can get punished very easily. So it's, this is really good for a medium to long range because they can't per se hide. You can kind of spam it out pretty much. They can't, they can't exactly dodge it because they always will track. That's the main thing that's really good about this jutsu. Alright, so let's go in the way to use the juice. So there's mainly two ways to use the juice. First is the way of comboing into the juice to extend the damage from the combo. So this is where the up combo comes in. So the up combo actually links up into the jutsu. So let me show you. There you go. That's wow, that did a lot. Wow. <laughs> wow, that did really a lot. So let's go, let's look at that one more time. So you will have to be a little bit fast with this because um the up combo is a little bit like um I don't know how to put it. You got you gotta you gotta really fast this combo. There you go. But if you get it all off, that's how much damage you're gonna be doing. Pretty much half of the green bar, so that's a lot of damage you can get off, but it's kind of a 50-50 chance because they can sub it or I would say suggest just use this when you really wanna punish. You can punish Bam. Please yeah, that that would actually work. Yeah. The other way is to just use it as um, in the back, pretty much. Just using the back to actually keep the opponent off of you so you can gain your subs. And this is what I mean by you gotta be really defensive with, um, I mean, this is, you can play really defensive with Darwin because you can just spam out right here, kind of just wait for the opponent to come to you, or you just get back and let your subs regenerate if you're in a bad position. So, yeah, either way, this is a really good long range shooter. And it's also magnificent as support as well because support this thing is a godsend. Like, you can link up a combo like that. Like, look at that mess. You can even sing your combo just like how I showed you right there. Um, you can even use dark to get, um, get them off you. It's also good at long range if you want to start spamming. If you wish to do that. But just the one bad thing about this juice is that it has a long cast time. As you can see, he, he, he stuck there for quite a long time in the fight. So you do be careful when using it. Don't don't ever use it at close range unless you're comping into it. Only at medium range and still be careful because they can still sub sub it and still uh, counter attack you. So just be careful. Be careful using this move. This is like Darby's one bad thing, but it's not really that bad. I was going to ultimate juice cancel. So ultimate juice cancel we just saw before is the uh, Gale style black hunting. This um this juice is also part of the up combo cancel. I just show you before. All right, the party. There we go. There we go. Boom. So it is the I think it's six a combo of the up combo where he, where he just shoots up the lightning. You just cancel into your ultimate juice. Let me show you one more time. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. So trap. Wait, we kind of roll out of it. I'm just checking this real quick. Can I roll out of it? I don't think I can. Can I? No, I can't. Okay, yeah, I can't. What about the the all oh, the combo? Is it still connect up? I doubt it. Okay, yeah, but that's not gonna work because they're gonna rebound out of it. So yeah, that doesn't work. Just want just my own curiosity. Just wanted to see. All right, let's go into his awakening. So, unfortunately, Darby has one of those awakenings where he kind of don't do anything. Like, he has a one like a very terrible awakening. So, I highly suggest you don't awaken Darby that much. It's like you're doing a team awakening, but still, it's his awakening is kind of trash. It's really trash, actually. 
So in, in his awakening, he has nothing that's different except his um, left trigger and right trigger, which is just a lucky style of Panther. Does no damage, does no guard damage, and it does travel across the screen. It shoots out two Black Panthers, and uh, they do not lock on to you, so you can dodge them, and they're pretty much useless. They are useless. I have tried many ways to just see like what the heck these things are doing, or how can I make them good, but apparently they um kind of suck. I'm sorry, Dari, you you just kind of sucks. Yeah, it does no damage, just on guard damage. Um, it is a fast projectile, I guess you can call it that. So I guess if you really wanted to keep your opponent at bay, I guess you could just use these to spam them out because they kind of have no use but in his waking form i was just, just playing him the exact way you play um darwin in his non-waking form just use um just use darwin as you can as i showed you before because you, you just the only thing about difference is that he does extra damage that's it and if you really want to punish use the up combo man this is a lot of damage wow that actually pushes them back too wow Boom. Pushes them back a little bit. Yeah, that does a lot of damage actually. Wow. Wait, can I, what else am I canceling to the... Yeah, these things are trash. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess they could be used for guard breaking, I guess. Wow. Alright, I guess that's a strategy right there. So, I guess if you do the up combo while they're guarding, then use the Black Panther, and then throw one Shuriken, it, their guard will break. That is a technique, I guess. So I guess you can kind of plan that out, I guess. But you gotta be really smart to do that. Like, you gotta, you gotta throw like... It's just, I guess it's a, a little technique you can do, and then you use your down combo. But this is the only thing I got for you. This is the only thing I got. This is, it, Dark of the Wicked is very terrible. So, I'll be right back to give the overview of how to play Dark Wave pretty much. Right, I'll be right back. Boop, I'm back. Alright, so. So pretty much Darwi is just a really balanced character. There's nothing really bad about Darwi. I'll just, just, just use them how I told you to. Um, and maximize the damage you can do with Darwi. He doesn't get off a ton of damage. But, um, keep using, um, let me turn this off. Keep using um, this up combo thing because it does pushes them away, and at the options you, you can um, get a couple of da uh, damage off if you can. Because there's, they can't run away from this at all. So this little setup right here, they're gonna get hit by something. Um, but this, pretty much nothing I can tell you really about Dar. We just use him as a really good character. He's just a really good character you can use. Just kind of always use his tilt. Always, this is a good way to get in. Um, I mainly say use the Juicy for support most of all because it is amazing support. Not really as Darby itself, so use it more wants the support most of the time. Don't use it for using a start like this because it kind of leaves you wide open. Um, for his grab, I would say use the grab if they're blocking a lot. Use the grab cancel a lot, just like that. Use it to trip them up a little bit because it does go into a strike back, and you can actually plan out for that. Uh, I would say don't awake with Darwin because his dar um, don't solo awake with Darwin because Darwin's awakening is kind of trash. Waking with somebody else with a little more powers and skill, but um, if you're if you're um, you can wake him with him, I guess if you're trio awakening if you want to do that. But still, his awakening is kind of trash. So don't even do it. But that's why I can't give you about Darwin. Like he's a, just a really good character. And you're gonna do good with him no matter what you do. You just gotta play smart. All right, so. Um, this is the end of the Gear Master tutorial with Dar. Make sure to tell me who else you want me to do for the next episode. My name is Gear as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.